Good day YouTube, 1MJ here and welcome back. Alright, Sunday sort of afternoon, evening here in Australia, or well, 8 o'clock at night, so that's definitely evening. And the markets are down ever so slightly, but really just kind of holding on to that $2 trillion mark just. Things are looking a little bit dicey at the moment, but you know, it seems to be holding pretty well at this level. But look, it, it looked like it was going to hold better uh, when it was up around sort of $45,000, $46,000 as well. And we all know that that didn't last. All right, Bitcoin dominance uh, moving up a little bit, getting back closer to 40% again. Not a lot of volume. Again, it's the weekend, kind of to be expected. But that's when you can get bounces and things turn around sometimes. So we'll have to wait and see. And Bitcoin over 41,000, which is nice. Getting close to 42,000, which is good. But, you know, will it hold? And gas prices come back down again. So $4.72, that's pretty cheap. They got down to $3 something about a week ago. And that's the cheapest I've seen them in a really long time. All right. What's done well in the last 24 hours in the top 100? Is there any kind of outliers? There usually is. Right, so there you go. ICP is up. Uh, Leo, I don't even know what that is. Dash ever so slightly. Luna ever so slightly. Look, not a lot of gains. And we're basically into the stable coins and things like that. So it's not looking pretty from that side. What about the losses? All right, here we go. Double-digit losses again. Phantom, Rose, Nia, Zcash, Helium, Gala. And then we're into high single-digit losses with a number of coins. So again, we're down 2.2%. Things are pretty scary at the moment, so things aren't looking pretty. Now, there is there's some positive news as well. This won't seem so positive at first. The fear and greed index has come up ever so slightly. We were at 10 yesterday. That's extreme fear. We don't, and you know, the, the basically the dark red is where it's starting to go into. We rarely ever come down to there, and I'm not sure if we've really been much lower. I think maybe a 9 or a 7 or an 8 is the lowest we've ever been. Don't quote me on that, but I'm pretty sure it's around about there. And now we've bounced back a little bit. Now, that's not to say we can't come back down again, but maybe... The bottom is in based on that, if you're just going by that. I'm not so sure, but that is some positivity, is that the fear is a little bit less. So maybe it's in. Let's have a look at the Bitcoin chart. What's it telling us? So again, we can see that we've bounced, you know, perfectly twice off this kind of $40,000 level at the moment. So it is holding. It does look like it's good support. And, you know, there's people that have spoken that there's, you know, some good support down around here around the kind of $39,000 level. And we haven't made it down there. So again, there is some more good news, but it doesn't mean that there can't be any more bad news, unfortunately. And as I've said before, ladies and gentlemen, I don't know what's going to happen. I don't, you know... I have theories of where I think it might go, but I don't actually know. So don't ever take anything I say as like gospel and definitely not financial advice. But so far we're holding, but I mean, have a look at these candles. They're not actually inspiring. They are indecision candles, and that one is even skinnier than that one. But it's early in the day for that one. So can it hold, or are we going to unfortunately roll over and then start to come down and look at some of these levels? Because again, there's not really much in between here that we can, you know, maybe sort of around about here, 39,000 sort of flat. You could sort of say around about there, you've got a little bit of confluence going back over here. Let's have a look. 39 sort of flat. Where were we? Around about here. Uh, yeah, even over the other side. So maybe $39,000 flat. Uh, there is a little bit of sort of support there and some confluence. So maybe that'll hold. But if not, yeah, again, I think we're pretty quickly coming down into about this range. I think we hit basically $36,000 on the nose. But again, never financial advice, ladies and gentlemen. Nothing is ever guaranteed. We could rock it back upwards in five minutes from here or we could crash a whole lot lower. You saw the CME gaps that we looked at the other day. Some of those are pretty scary. All the way down to like $9,000 there was one. So that really would be, that'd be hard for a lot of people. And unfortunately that's crypto though. It did it to me last time, hence why I had to do my rebalancing just to make sure that I'm going to you know, basically not get completely and utterly crushed uh, and why I'm not kind of buying too heavy in anything at the moment. Chip away at a few things here and there, but I won't be putting any sort of major money back in until we really start to show a clear uptrend. And what I mean by a clear uptrend is we're, 
you know, there's no real specific level. I mean, we'll have to get basically, because we're here, we need to get above 42,000. But I'd want us to come back above 42,000 and then come back and have a retest. And it doesn't have to be at 42,000. It's just got to be thereabouts. But I want us to come up, have a retest, and then start moving back upwards. That is something that I would consider bullish. But we can easily, just like this, come back up and everyone's, yeah, it's back on. Oh, no, it's not. And we come way down here. So again, that is why I'm not making any big moves at the moment. Still buying my Bitcoin, you know, fortnightly, weekly, whatever. But really outside of that and a bit of Ethereum, just, yeah, holding cash more than anything. All right. Again, is there any other safe markets? Nope. S&P 500 down even more again. Hence why Bitcoin's probably still not doing anything. Dow Jones down again. Gold ever so slightly sort of crept up but again still down but the interesting thing about gold is it does seem to be setting in uh, lower highs but higher lows at the moment o outside of sort of this little one here it keeps setting in sort of higher lows and these you know this one here it's basically bounced off it so this could be something that might look good for gold not that I'm really any kind of gold bug and rushing out to buy any gold but yeah Keep an eye on that. Maybe there's something about to happen with gold. I don't think it's going to be anything like the crypto market when it starts to move. But hey, if you're a gold bug, maybe there's something there. But again, it's still setting in lower highs at the same time. So there is no safe market at the moment that I've been able to find outside of property. Property is still at record highs you know, here in Australia and probably in other places around the world as well. But will that last? I don't know, particularly with rate hikes and things like that. All right, so let's just have a look at a couple of stories. Leading VC Andreessen Horowitz raises another $9 billion. $9 billion, ladies and gentlemen. That's a lot of money, $9 billion. And people have put it in to him to invest in crypto and other tech. So people are still bullish. There's still plenty of money being uh, put into the space. But the thing is, Andreessen Horowitz, he's not going out and buying Bitcoin with it, really. I'm not saying he wouldn't buy any. Maybe he'd buy a little bit. But they really look at, uh, you know, the bricks and mortar type stuff and getting into projects really early. They're generally not, you know, it's more hedge funds than that that would look into things like Bitcoin, not so much VCs. You know, they'd invest in things like, you know, early MetaMask and all that kind of stuff. But that is still looking at this space. So again, there's some positivity out there. It's not all doom and gloom. It's just not enough to turn the market around at the moment. In 10 minutes time from now or 10 hours time or maybe 10 days time or 10 weeks, months or 10, sorry, 10, 10 weeks time or 10 months time from now, there will be something that will happen that will turn the market around. I just don't know what it is. Maybe it's going to be 10 years. Maybe we've got a great sort of, you know, another huge uh, depression slash recession sort of thing going on and it may take a really long time. I don't know. I'm hoping that's not the case, but you got to be prepared for if it is. Right, and last but not least, Rarible have launched a tool to block risky Ethereum NFT sales and orders on OpenSea. So obviously there's some, you know, dodgy stuff going on, on out there in the NFT sort of space. So it just seems like there's nowhere that's really safe, doesn't it? I don't, I honestly don't know where you'd have your money at the moment. And outside of sitting in at least a position of cash in the short term, I wouldn't want to be in massive amounts of cash long term. But something we also need to keep in mind is a lot of CEOs and things like that have been stepping down over the last few sort of months and things like that. And the last time that happened was around about, uh, you know, not long before sort of March in 2020, the year preceding, a lot of CEOs stepping down and selling and having good cash positions. And guess what? When that starts to happen, there's usually a pretty big downfall just after it. So, yeah, take what you will of that, whether, you know, cash is kind of the safer sort of bet at the moment or, you know, maybe you're banking on the all the markets sort of turning around uh, fairly soon, which I'm sure a lot of us are. Truth is, I don't know, ladies and gentlemen, you know, I'm hedging my bets in all sorts of directions like most people. Uh, I wish I simply just, you know, there was something telling me this is the way to go and that's what you got to do because I, you know, I like to follow my instincts. But I just don't have that feeling at the moment. I am as unsure about things as pretty much everyone else. All right, that's it from me, ladies and gentlemen. Stay safe. Be kind to one another. 
Again, pretty hard to be on that gang train at the moment, but if you are, congratulations to you and let me know how you did it, <laughs> and I'll see you next time.